butterfly is a stroke that really puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Thankfully, if you work in the butterfly kick, you can kind of take that load off your shoulders and get yourself moving down the pool faster so you're less tired. Hey, my name is Kaylee from My Swim Pro, and today we'll be working on the butterfly kick. Some of the major mistakes that I see in the butterfly kick is that swimmers bend their knees when they kick. Butterfly is a hip-driven stroke. Most of the power comes from your core and your hips to drive your legs forward in the kick. That doesn't mean that your legs shouldn't bend when you swim butterfly. It really just means that you need to relax and focus on your hips to start the kick rather than your knees. Another mistake I see is that swimmers don't really have the timing of their kick paired up with the rhythm of their arms. For every down stroke of your pole, you should do one kick. And for every recovery of your pole, you should do one kick. More advanced swimmers call this an up kick and a down kick. So that's two kicks for every one cycle of your stroke. Butterfly comes from your core. So making sure that you focus on keeping your kick coming from your hips, pressing with your chest, and kind of getting that flow is really important. The first drill that we're going to do is the flow drill. In this drill, both of your arms are straight in front of you, resting on the top of the water. These are just to hold you in place, and your arms won't do anything for this drill. You'll be pressing with your chest and then your hips to kind of give that rhythm of your butterfly kick. This drill teaches you that the power of your kick comes from your core. You don't want to start your kick from your knees. You want to start it all the way from your, the top of your body down to your feet. The second drill that we're going to do is the 3-3-3 drill. In this drill, you'll take three arm strokes with your right arm, three arm strokes with your left arm, and then three full strokes. This will get you to focus on driving the stroke with your legs, but also matching the timing with your arms. We're at the pool. I've got the workout on my watch loaded from the My Swim Pro app, so I can just follow along with the workout and it'll tell me exactly what I need to do next. Let's go. The flow drill is an important drill that will connect your butterfly kick to your entire stroke. The kick actually starts from your chest, moves down to your core, and then your hips. Your ankles are like the end of a whip, snapping to finish the kick. Don't kick from your knees. Keep your legs together and use your hips like you're a dolphin. You'll kind of feel like you're doing the worm down the pool. I recommend slowing down and taking your time doing this drill. What's important is figuring out the feeling of the kick flowing from one point in your body to the next. If you want, you can add fins to really emphasize your kick. Make sure you have a good body position in the water during this drill with high hips. You can also use a snorkel to keep your head in line with your spine for good body position all the way down the pool. The 3-3-3 drill is a more advanced version of the one-arm butterfly drill. In this drill, you'll take three strokes with your right arm, three strokes with your left arm, and then three full strokes. Instead of just using one side, you'll have to balance your stroke with each arm, then put it all together and keep your rhythm going into the full stroke. In general, this is a great way to train butterfly without swimming the full stroke for a long time. Remember, for every pull down that you take, you'll do one butterfly kick. You'll also do one kick for every time your arm goes over the water back to the top of the stroke. That means you'll have two kicks for every stroke. One when you pull the water, and one to keep you moving forward as your arms recover back over the water. Kick with your core, hips, and ankles, and try to keep your kick the same, even when you're switching from right to left to a full stroke. You can also do this drill with a snorkel if you want to just focus on your kick timing. Doing butterfly kick underwater is called underwater dolphin kick. You can do it off the wall in butterfly, freestyle, and backstroke. Keeping a tight streamline and doing dolphin kick underwater with your hips can push you even further down the pool so you don't have to come up and start swimming butterfly right away. After you push off the wall and streamline and do a couple dolphin kicks underwater, when you come up and start swimming butterfly, don't breathe right away. Instead, take two full strokes before you breathe because that will keep your body line in position, keep your momentum high, and you won't breathe and break your momentum. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Make sure you stay tuned to watch our final episode of this series on Butterfly Starts and Turns. Head over to the My Swim Pro app, check out this workout, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Happy swimming!